guys, sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. It looks like Hawks messed up that router on their end, so I'm not dealing with that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Okay, so where were we? So we have this guy, we have all that. Ah, troubleshooting the bullets now. So let's see here. That. Ah, that's what it was. So, come down here, and where we create the bullets. So there's that. So, in this case, what it's going to be is it's going to be that plus entity scroll x. And that is for the y. So that'll be for that. And then here. that and whoops don't want that to be transparent so there's our uh, talking abilities Here. So our normal bullets are going to be transparent. Um, probably want to do like speech bullets to be more precise. So we'll come here and do add. Uh, we'll just leave it like that actually. Transparent. And then flare bullet, which will be. color. There we go. So now our bullets work properly. So we have all that. And of course we can do some other neat little fancy effects. Um, let's go through and bullet. So we'll rotate it a little bit every uh, time it goes. Last thing we'll want to do is this set origin to and that'll make sure it rotates on the center axis. That gives a neat little effect. Down 
for that as well, so we'll need to do that. And the other thing we'll want to do is we'll do uh, if this velocity, actually, dot x. And that'll make it rotate uh, in the direction that it's going. So you'll see when we go that way, it spins to the left. When we go that way, it spins to the right. doesn't die with water. So if it collides with that or it's less than, so let's go over here, our water tile here is 93 and 91. So if it's less than 91, it's greater than 93. So that'll make it uh, able to go through water. Let's go through. So, advertising my stream. <laughs> All right, there's that. That we have that what else is left I want to add some animated water and then we're going to do the basic game itself so let's go through and get uh, a couple of things so we want to get um, animated water we want to get um, the ability to have we want to have animated water, and we want to have the ability to do, um, what you call it? Layers. Good old Shrek layers. <laughs> so, let's go through and do that now. Um, this will be one of the last few things that I'm going to do before I continue on. next section of things. 
so just a second. Okay, so there's all of that. Um, animated water. Let's do this. Close some of these down for right now. Don't need mob, don't need mob. Main game, we can leave that alone. Okay, so map. So the way that we're going to do the animated water is going to be a little gimmicky, but it'll work. Um, what it's going to be is we're going to basically flip the tiles horizontally and vertically. Um, the reason that we're going to do that is it will make it a little bit easier when it comes to when it comes to uh, going through and basically when we're going through and basically it's a cheap way to get a wavy effect to it uh, if everything goes right. So let's see. I don't know if there's a flip in here. Oh, nope, there is. So we can flip everything. Um, so let's go through, and what we're going to want to do is, for each layer of water, we want to have the next set of layers be flipped. And this is going to be kind of tricky to do. Um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this, actually. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of cop out and alternate every other layer just to make it easy. Um, that should, in theory, work. So, let's see here. here. This is where our water is. So in this case, what we're going to want to do is So if it's greater than or equal to 91, to 93, then we're going to uh, do if, uh, actually we can just do um, Ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. 
So what we'll do actually, we'll be even better about this. We don't even need that. But what we can do is every Y iteration will flip. Notice it's got this interesting waviness to it. And we can go through and update this every time as well. So what we can do is Anything for the mobs or talking people. We just need these. And finally. Here, 
that's going to be really slow if we do all the tiles. So what we actually want to do is we only want to do it if the tile is the specific one that we're looking for. So in this case, Thirty, Y thirty with thirty. that now. The big thing is that it's very, very slow, so we're going to want to fix that. 
Um, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Is that needed? Let's find out. So that'll make all of the water at those top layers have that nice little effect. Now the big thing is how slow that is, so we're going to want to again. We're going to want to um, set that up so it's not as slow. Um, part of that I believe is because of how many checks are going through here also be the fact that we're flipping it. So let's go through and just see what happens if we do that. Faster, yep. And then if we do that. So the real slowdown, if you'll notice, is this flipping method right here. So what we're actually going to want to do is we'll want to have separately flipped tiles so that we're not flipping it every time. That's probably expensive just for some weird reason. Um, let's see if we can. So, what we might be able to do all still going to be highly unoptimized, so ignore this for now. We'll go through and optimize it later.
we're flipping, then we do um, minus nine two. Again, still a bit slow. Or am I doing this backwards? Apparently I am. Alright, I am going to have to get ready to head out in just a second to drop my girlfriend off at campus. Um, hopefully it won't take too long, however. Let's see. Okay, so our images are not being copied.
<sighs> I guess what we'll do then is we will have special piles. Tiles will basically have the mostly same features. Except that. Come up here. second temporary image. And this one will be the same thing. And this special flip tiles. Yep, almost there. And then pair two. And pair two. So now we have our special tiles. check that this is all getting to where it needs to be. That's a little fast, so again, we'll want to have um, a boolean for f or a timer. So SF buff timer, and what we'll do is we'll do SF elapse time. Seconds, square sixteen five, then we'll do all this. And then primer dot restart. That's still quite fast, so let's do Just a bit. And that's still a bit slow now, so let's do that. Let's 
basically we just want to get a nice little water effect going. And there we go. So there's some basic water now that we can swim around in. Um, you can see it looks, you know, not too bad on here. Um, so I now must go and take a short break. Um, need to go run some errands real quick. And then I will be back hopefully within the next hour and a half or so. So uh, feel free to check back in afterwards. We'll be going through and changing the fonts, finalizing some gameplay stuff. And yeah, so for those interested, you can find my game. I'll update the page. Uh, I'll update it soon with a link to the game so you guys can vote for it if you decide to. Um, and please give it a vote. I'm going to be trying to work on integration of some other uh, online stuff when I get the chance. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in for right now. Like I said, I should be back in the next hour or so. So uh, yeah, tune back in then. Thank you guys.